Are you having problems building rounded shoulders? You know, you're training your shoulders like a madman doing all this fancy shit, and you look like you freaking got mountain peaks instead of rounded shoulders. Well, there's a reason for it. You're not doing the compound movements. You're doing the fancy shit. You got to put meat on the bone first. And in other words, to get the meat on the bone, you got to be able to do your compound movements because those movements is what puts the meat on the bone. Fancy helps refine it. Compound movement is what helps put the meat on the bone. So we're gonna take this into the gym and I'm gonna show you what I do to give myself and the people that I coach and train those rounded delts or those rounded shoulders. Let's take it over there. All right, one of the first exercises I do, and it's mandatory, you have to do shoulder presses, behind the neck shoulder press. I prefer to do it on this machine for behind the neck. You can do it on the Smith machine, you can do it on a behind the neck machine with a barbell. It's your preference, they're all correct. You just got to make sure that you got the right angle of approach. You engage the muscles and you do the exercise. I don't have any weight on this for demonstration purposes. I believe in doing partial reps. I don't like to lock out. I come in and I get a deep stretch and I come up about 85% and I just continuously control the repetitions and pump out these repetitions. And again, I'm using a weight that I can handle for high repetition. Sometimes it's the failure. Sometimes it may be just 25 repetitions. It all depends on the format of the exercises that I want to do. If I'm going to superset, which I really love doing, supersetting, I would do a set of the shoulder presses behind the neck on the machine. I would go to the seated military press and rep them to failure. You can start with drop sets here. You can go to failure. It's up to you. It's your choice. Then I would go to a seated side lateral, and then I would go to a rear delt exercise. I might just do that circuit, or I might isolate myself by just doing one exercise at a time. All the versions are correct but I like to mix it up a lot and do super setting, sometimes giant setting. Choice is yours, they're all correct. You just gotta make sure you get the proper muscle engagement and you're really chasing the pump, you're not chasing the weight. So let's take this over to the seated military press and I'll show you another version of the shoulder press for the front part of the shoulder. Next exercise I do is a front military press. I see a lot of people doing standing front military presses. They're good, but I believe they put a lot of strain on the lower back. And there's also the cheating effect of trying to help your body push the weight up. So by doing the seated front military presses, it takes the momentum out of the exercise and I'm able to perform the repetitions correctly and get the most I can out of this movement. So watch how I do this. This is just a stripped out 45 pound Olympic bar. Now remember, I would come to this immediately after doing my shoulder presses behind the neck, whether it's on the Smith machine, barbell, or the uh, Panetta machine that I use over there. So I'm going from one machine right over to the next exercise. You can superset it, you can do individual, three or four sets there, drop settings, whatever you want. The choice is yours, they're all correct. Just pick the poison in, in the way that you want to do these to benefit you. You know, you got beginner, intermediate, and advanced lifting techniques. Incorporate what works for you. So I grab the bar, I rest it down to my chest below my collarbone, and again, I'm pushing up, doing partial repetitions. I'm not in a full lockout, and I'm doing it just like this. And when I get to my desired rep range, I rack the bar. This is another essential compound movement that's going to help you build rounder shoulder. Okay, we're going to take this to the seated side lateral. You can do the side lateral standing or seated. My preference is the seated because again, it takes the momentum out of the exercise. So let's go over to the dumbbell rack. I'll grab a couple of dumbbells and I'll show you guys the next one. All right, I'm over here on a on a seated bench. We're going to do seated. Side lateral. A lot of people butcher this exercise. They use weight that's really, really way too heavy, and they're using everything they got to slurp, to throw these weights up without ever engaging the muscles and letting the muscles do the work. For demonstration purposes, 
I'm using 10 pounds. Now remember, you just did seated shoulder presses behind the neck. You did front military presses. No matter what order you did them in, you still did them. You're gonna be a little spent by the time you get to this exercise, so choose your weight correctly. Lighter weight's always best if you wanna maintain that form and that muscle engagement. So I'm gonna grab a couple of 10s. I roll my shoulders back and I come up with a little twist in my pinky going upward. And I'm keeping the constant muscle engagement. I'm not going over shoulder height. You see a lot of people doing this. No, I keep it right here. And I continue doing the repetitions, keeping the muscles engaged and getting as much blood flow into the muscles as possible. That's the name of the game is blood flow and going after that pump. These are gonna pump your shoulders up, I guarantee it. A good rule of thumb is, Giants said all this. Do a set of the shoulder presses or behind the necks, do a set of the militaries. Come here, do a set of the seated side laterals, and then do a set of your rear delt exercise that I'm gonna demonstrate next. Giants set those with high rep. You wanna talk about changing shit up? That's really gonna change shit up. Then as you get a little more advanced, start doing a drop set for each one. Three drop sets on the behind and neck presses. Three drop sets on the shoulder presses. Three drop sets on the seated side laterals. And then more drop sets for your, uh, for your rear delts. But that's as you get the conditioning of the muscles to handle those kind of workouts. And I promise you, you're going to get the skin splitting pump. It's a guarantee. I put my mark on it. It's a guarantee. So I'm going to uh, demonstrate a seated rear delt exercise, okay? Again, I'm using the same 10 pounders. I'm just sliding up on the bench. I'm leaning forward and I'm bringing the dumbbells outward. And it's a continuous partial repetition engaging my rear delts. I'm never stopping the movement. I'm keeping the continuous engagement in the rear delts. And I will do this to failure. Remember, failure can come up very quickly depending on the pump that you're bringing into this exercise, okay? This exercise here is engaging my rear delts and it's lighting them on fire, okay? In order to develop round shoulders, okay? Boulder shoulders, cannonball shoulders, whatever you wanna call them, you have to concentrate on your compound shoulder exercises. You just can't come in here, grab some dumbbells, you know, do some dumbbell presses, do some front raises on dumbbells, do cable work. There's a time and place for that. But in order for you to put meat on the bone and get your shoulders bigger and rounder, you have to stick to your compound movements for those exercises. And as time progresses along and you're getting the muscle gains that you want, add a different exercise in. Swap something out. Do a cable side lateral do dumbbell presses. There's a lot of different variations, but you can't disregard or ignore doing your compound movements. They're so vitally important. I have training videos out, championship muscle training videos, where I have put a lot of time into these videos explaining the different body parts and the exercises for those body parts. It goes over the chest and shoulders, back and bys, legs, forearms, triceps, and calves. It goes over all the body parts. It goes over the keto diet, how to reverse type 2 diabetes, and it goes in really in depth in the contest preparation for the competitors off season and dialing yourself in to be stage ready. The courses I put together are my 43 years of knowledge given to me by my trainer, Bob Gruskin. He was the guru back in the day. And these, these courses will really take your training to the next level of conditioning. I designed them that way. They're very affordable. There's a link in the description for my Buy Me A Coffee. Check out that link. Go to my Buy Me A Coffee site, look in shops, and you'll see all the courses there. The feedback I've received on these courses from the people that have purchased it is, is fabulous. They absolutely love these courses because of the amount of detail that is put into these videos. And they are big video files. One of the, one of the body parts is just about two gigabytes. Yeah, they're no joke. They're no joke. So, hey, I appreciate you guys. Please like, subscribe, and share. Leave a comment if you have one, and I'll see you guys back in the gym. Peace out.